So last week I got to check out the Devoom TV Max, this massive LED pixel display with a thumping speaker inside. This week I'm having a look at their newest, latest and greatest model, the Devoom D2. It's designed to look like a retro computer and it's the cutest little pixel display speaker you've ever seen. Now, if you thought the Ditu Max at $200 was a little bit out of your price range, then I have good news. This one is half the price currently, but only if you go and back it now on the Indiegogo campaign. So let's take a closer look at the Divoom Ditu. The Ditu comes in a neat carry case, complete with some pixel art stickers that you can customize your device with if you want. And as you can see, it's styled like a retro computer complete with backlit six button mechanical keyboard using blue switches that feel just lovely. There's a sort of joystick switch that's used to select certain things and the power and SD card slot on the side are positioned just like an old floppy drive. And if you don't know what a floppy drive is, it's a thing we used to put floppy disks into because disks used to be floppy. The Ditu stands 12 centimeters high and the pixel screen itself is about six centimeters square. Weighing just under 500 grams, the Ditu shares many of the features along with the rest of the Divoom range. Inside there's a 3000 milliamp hour battery which should be good for about six hours of use as a speaker, more or less depending on whether you've got the pixel display on or not. If you didn't already watch my TV Max review, please go ahead and watch that too. However, if you're not going to, or if you didn't, then briefly, I will say, like the rest of the Divoom range, the Ditu has a 16 by 16 pixel display, which is itself highly customizable, and the Divoom app contains a massive library of user-generated pixel art, static and animated content that you can download and store on your device. There's also special channels on the device itself to display currently trending hot or cool animations. And of course, you can use the app to design your own pixel art, either painting pixel by pixel or by importing a picture or by using a text generator where you can type in a message and then change the colors, background effects, that sort of thing. The Ditu is actually one of the most functional devices in the Divoom range, primarily because it has this six button keyboard and selector at the front. So this means that you can play the onboard games such as Tetris, Snake and Breakout by using this keyboard rather than the dial that you had to use on the side of the TV Max. The Ditu also has a built-in painting by numbers game sort of thing. You move the cursor around and then tap the button to fill in the color. I guess it's a race to complete all the colors in the picture. Also, what I really loved about the Ditu is the pre-programmed set of custom animations that play when you first turn on the system. It's just a selection of sort of retro computer boot up screens, really cute, but unfortunately these are stored on the custom animations channel, which if you open up the app and upload your own custom animations will replace those built-in ones. They have told me that all of those animations are actually available in the library on the app itself. So all you would need to do is download and put them back into your favorites custom channel if you wanted some of those back. I would have really liked it if that was just available as a separate custom channel or perhaps even the ability to have multiple custom channels so that even though you can have 12 favorites, you could have different sets of 12 favorites. Although you wouldn't think so to look at it, this device does also include a Bluetooth speaker, albeit a fairly small one. At the top of the device is a single 10 watt speaker with a base cone around the back. This is just a, a reflex cone, it's not a separate speaker. So obviously the sound that you get out of this isn't going to be particularly bassy or particularly great. It's only a 10 watt speaker. However, it does sound pretty good. Now here's a quick sample that I recorded, again, using the lapel mic that I'm using to record this review. So it's not a perfect overview of the sound quality, but hopefully it gives you some idea. Now it does get quite loud, but at higher levels, the sound gets a lot murkier, not so much distorted, but it does lose a lot of the clarity. Still, it's certainly better than you'd get from your phone. Obviously it's louder and it's pretty good for the price point. You can also use that cool music visualizer mode like you do in the other models. Although again, that can only be used when you're playing the sound over Bluetooth, 
not by using a built-in microphone. In addition to all of that, you also get those other features I mentioned in our previous review. So things like the sleep timer and sleep sounds, white noise, that sort of thing. Though those do require your phone, you also have notifications from your favorite social networks. So if your phone is in your pocket and it's buzzing, you don't know what it is, you have this on your desktop, it can pop up with a little Facebook or Instagram icon and you'll know to ignore it. So should you buy the Divoom Ditu? Well, if you've been eyeing up the TV Max but thought $200 is a little bit out of your price range, then at half the price, this is definitely worth considering. Yes, the speaker isn't nearly as powerful and the display isn't as big. However, I think the addition of the keyboard really adds a lot and it's a lot cuter for your desktop. They've really gone all out with the retro styling for this one. It's available to pre-order now on Indiegogo and if you're quick, there's still some early bird pricing available so you can get one for as little as $80. However, the retail price is around 160. I don't know if that's what it will actually be, but that's what the retail price is listed as. So do be quick if you wanna get a bargain. Delivery is scheduled for November and despite being an Indiegogo campaign, I don't think you need to worry about deliverability of this device. Of course, you could wait until it's on Amazon, but at that point, I would expect a bit of a price bump. Anyway, thank you for watching another MakeUseOf.com review. If you appreciated this, please hit the like button. It really does help us. And if you didn't appreciate it, head on down to the comments and shout at me to tell me why. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. And do please consider subscribing to the channel. We do two or three reviews and giveaways every single week. It's from all of us at MakeUseOf.com. Thanks for watching and until next time. All right, everyone, you should know by now it's giveaway time. Devoom was kind enough to give us another of these Dittus to give away in green to one lucky viewer. Just head on over to the link in the description or go directly to makeyourself.com slash giveaways where you will find giveaway widgets for all of our latest competitions. Pop your details in there. I think there's still the competition going on for the TV Max if you wanted to enter that as well. And when you get down to the bit about the video bonus code, type in floppy disk for some bonus entries. Competition closes in about three weeks and the winner will be contacted by email. So please add competitions at makeuseof.com to your address book. That will ensure that our email doesn't go into your spam box. We're only gonna send you an email if you've won. So do keep an eye out for that. Good luck and until next time.